Bright White is an interpretive design consultancy, so we, um, we design museums, we design visitor centres, and that's everything from the kind of physical things like this to the digital aspects and the more advanced sort of augmented reality, virtual reality aspects. My other main hat is um, as a founder of uh, Virtual Case Systems, which is, makes um, holographic delivery and content systems so that people can see digital content inside a museum showcase alongside the real object. That idea of coming up with innovative solutions to problems wasn't necessarily around in the earlier days of my career. What happened was the more people that I got to speak to, the more specialists that I got to know through work and had, you know, had to work with on projects, uh, the more you kind of get to know how they think and take on a bit of their wisdom and then really to create those innovative solutions really what you need are real world problems and that's when our clients come in because they tell us that they need to be able to do, they wish that they could do this, they wish that they could do that and of course somewhere in your brain all these things kind of get connected together and you think actually I know how to solve that and uh, so yeah that's generally what our sort of day-to-day -day life is about is, is, is connecting different disparate things together to create new ideas. York's like a big campus really in that there are lots of small companies working uh, collaboratively and I think this project here at the Yorkshire Museum is a really great example of that and quite an unusual example because um, we've got a York-based client with the York, York Museum's Trust, we've got a York-based design team with Bright White Limited uh, but then the main contractor on site, Paragon Creative, Paragon work all over the world doing what they're doing and uh, you know we, we, we work extensively outside of the UK um, but you know their experience of being able to bring a York project to life by York team pulling on all that experience that we've all gained from all over the world is, is, a, is a really great opportunity and York is great in the sense that we can quickly get to each other it's not an hour across the city you know it's a few minutes and by foot our office is five minutes away from here that's that works really well and it being the historic core of York it, you know it's a very in, in, inspiring place always and in terms of York and its history with interpretive design I believe that's absolutely true because don't quote me on the dates but in the 30s Kirk created Kirk Gate at what's now the Castle Museum and that was the first immersive recreation of a Victorian street taking reclaimed salvaged Victorian shop fronts, putting them in storage for years but then pulling them all together and actually creating this authentic scene. Um, so that was the 1930s, then in the 1980s uh, we had the birth of the Jorvik Centre and you know, that because a completely different level of sensory immersion and extremely popular still is today. One of our recent projects at the Battle of Bannockburn Centre, which was a wholly digital interpretation centre on a large scale, has been said by others is kind of the next stage in that evolution. Since Bright White was born 14 years ago, um, Creative York were one of the first organisations to knock on the door and welcome us into, into the creative fold at, at, in York. And we've always been in contact um, right the way through. Um, we've always met new people through that, we've always found opportunities through that as well. Work has come from, from that network through uh, collaborations and getting big teams together. We've been able to um, really punch above our weight and, and now it's great. Now we're in a position where we're able to employ people and bring um, you know, something back to that network.